Hi there, this is Srikant Dasari. In this lesson, we are going to continue our uh, study about uh, basic data type, CARE. Okay? So let me launch the IDE and quickly create a new project here. And let us name the project as CARE type, whatever you want it. And create a new C file under the source file section. Let us name as cares.c. Let's go to full screen and add a couple of error files. All the basic stuff. And the main function. Okay. So care. So we can declare a data type. Uh, can declare a variable of type care using the keyword care okay and followed by a variable name let's say it as alpha okay so the character in C the character set of C include uh, capital I mean uh, alphabets letters let us say letters from A to Z and uh, capital A to capital C, both uppercase and lowercase, followed by numericals or you can say numbers 0 to 9. Okay, and uh, special symbols, special symbols, special symbols like uh, asterisk, plus, for addition, slash, and so on. There are a uh, certain amount of uh, special symbols and also escape sequences, escape sequences like uh, slash t for tab and a slash n for new line. Okay, so these are the various categories of uh, uh, character set. Okay, you can say this uh, com the combination of all these uh, individual elements we can say as uh, can say as character set of C. Okay, so let us uh, we have declared an alphabet uh, we have declared a variable alpha for character. So let us assign some uh, value to it. Okay, so you need to uh, specify a single quotations and uh, whatever the character you wanted, whatever the data you wanted. Here we are assigning a alphabet A, lowercase alphabet A. Uh, the significance of these uh, single quotations is that it uh, specifies that it is a character which is a quite a bit uh, different from this one. Okay, If you say like this, this is a string, okay, not a character in double quotations. So uh, the strings we will cover in the next lesson uh, about uh, strings okay, in the future lesson. So if you say in single quotations and uh, only one value, if you assign uh, uh, to a uh, character variable, you can say that as character. Okay, it should be in single quotations. And if you want to print the result, I mean, print the value containing in the variable, you can use this uh, format specified as percentage C for character. You can also have a message here the value of care alpha care alpha or character alpha value of character alpha is percentage c and alpha here and you can add the get ch to make the output constant and let's run the program here so you get the value which is stored in alphabet okay so there is uh, one important thing when studying about uh, characters. The characters are actually stored as uh, uh, integers in the system. Okay. So for every character, there is an uh, alias value of an integer, which is known as uh, ASCII code. Okay. So if you want to prove that, so let us print uh, the value of A behind the value which is behind uh, the alphabet A. So we can use uh, the format specified percentage D since we said it is an integer which is stored 
which in which uh, the character is stored okay the character so for understanding purpose i am uh, printing a message here percentage c is is stored as integer percentage d alpha comma alpha okay so save and run the program so you might observe that a is stored as uh, a is stored internally as 97 which represents the ascii value of a okay so in the same way to demonstrate uh, uh, this concept with another example if you take uh, zero so if you do something like uh, take character zero here and if you want to print uh, the character in the the uh, integer value behind 0 you can use the same uh, example the character percentage c is told as percent is told as integer percentage t was 0 comma 0 okay so let's run the program now so if you see the output uh, the ascii value of 0 is 48 the same is true uh, in the reverse way also so this is a quite a bit uh, confusing for uh, uh, beginners okay so if we take an integer here like say int let us name the variable as uh, since we are dealing with ascii values let's say it's ascii ascii of a for better understanding purpose and let's say it as 65 so if you want to print this integer in a character format the integer percentage or s key or directly you can say the integer percentage d represents percentage c internally and you can use uh, the variable name here asc of a so don't get confused with this uh, huge variable names here ski of a for a better understanding purpose save and run the program so if you see here we have assigned uh, the value of uh, integer to 65 and when we are printing it as a character you get the the, you get the value of the ASCII code okay the actual value actual character value that, that means that if you are saying uh, capital A to a character and if you try to extract the ASCII value of it you get 65 here okay so that is the underlying uh, concept between the character which are stored as integers in C okay so you can think like this the character is a miniature version of an integer an integer as a wider character okay so both are one and the same but this is a different case in other programming languages like c++ the c++ has specifically it has a char as a specific type there okay so the character occupies one byte uh, of space in uh, memory so quickly you can uh, check this through the size of operator the size of character is character in bytes percentage d comma size of care you can say simply you can say care if you save and run the program it's one byte okay the least uh, space in all other basic data types it is one byte so quickly if you want to check the range of the character so you have a uh, uh, two macros which were uh, defined in limits.h so let us include that one since we are going to use this uh, macros limits.h okay so let us print the range of the character which would be roughly uh, 2 to the power of uh, 8 okay slash and slash tape the range of character
is percentage D to percentage T percentage D to percentage D care underscore min is a macro and care underscore max uh, these are the macros which store the minimum and maximum values of uh, a character okay so if you save and run the program you get the range so there is a small uh, mistake here I have done a error we are not getting the output care min and care max so what we have done uh, mistake here on the program you are not getting the range limit storage Care min come care max. We have dropped the semicolon here. So I have uh, kept the semicolon. If you run the program now, you get the range of a character. Okay. So in the same way, you can have uh, another variant of character which is uh, unsigned. Unsigned care of uh, you care you can take a variable like this so unsigned care is also of, uh, which occupies uh, one byte of space in uh, memory and you can get the range of an unsigned care i mean the maximum value and we say unsigned we get uh, the maximum value uh, because the minimum value is always zero in case of unsigned integer or unsigned care whatever it might be so the maximum value The max value of unsigned care is u care. We have a macro defined in the limit storage u care underscore max. Okay. So let us run the program. So there you get 255. Okay. So this is a uh, some basic stuff regarding a uh, character data in C. So, see you in the next lesson. Bye bye.